These airplanes, uh, in the last just couple weeks, have been supporting multinational F-35 training exercises in the United States, providing uh, aggressor support for the Air Force, and doing uh, the training for the Marine Corps by dropping training ordinance. But as, as fantastic of a platform that is for us, the A4K, which we, we bought from New Zealand in 2011, months after that is when we put our, our inquiry into uh, uh, Aero Vodokoti and said, we see something better. We see something that really could be the, you know, the foundation for this you know, ever-evolving commercial air services industry, which is the L159 ALCA, um, which does everything we do today better. It has uh, better radars than what we carry now, better sensors, better attack capabilities. When we do JTAC training now, we use uh, computed delivery systems, but, but, but in the modern JTAC world, targeting pods become relevant. And we can do that with the L159 with lightning pods. So uh, we saw this very early on as a means to uh, enhance our training capability and, and the service we provide. Uh, and and it's, I can't tell you again how excited we are to finally see it come to fruition and take delivery of them. Um, and, and in doing so, like we've done with the other airplanes we purchased, we have a lot of great cooperation with, our, uh, with the nations that we purchased the airplanes from uh, and industry. So this is just the beginning uh, with, with Aero Vota Cody and hopefully the beginning with the, the, the Czech uh, Air Force and Ministry of Defense because we, we have a proven history of staying engaged and cooperating with our past providers. We've already demonstrated that here in the Czech Republic by participating in the L-39 Next Gen program, which we're all very excited about. Um, and similarly, the things we can do or upgrades that may benefit the Czech Air Force is just very, uh, very, very exciting from our perspective. Um, and, and I guess in, in closing, I'd like to tell you a little bit about where these L-159s are going. So just a week ago, Draken International was awarded a contract from the U.S. Air Force to provide adversary support at Nellis Air Force Base, which is home, if, if many of you don't know, to Red Flag. Uh, you know, a multinational, critical, global, um, you know, air battle training environment. And the L-159 is about to go and perform on, you know, maybe, you know, the greatest stage uh, in the world for that type of a, a training environment. And, uh, and we think it's going to do just, just fantastic. I mean, we, we can't, we, we really, we really can't wait. And you think about uh, the L-159 and the dream of it, the ALCA in the beginning, coming from the L-39 lineage and how successful it's been and modernizing it, you know, there was a, there was a, a pretty big dream of what that plane could come from. And it just goes to show it's, you know, it's, it's sometimes it's, you know, it's not a race, but a, but a marathon because I think it's starting to really come, come to fruition. You have, um, you know, between the L-159 going to Nellis and being on that, uh, that red flag stage, continuing its great and proud performance here in the Czech Air Force and now joining uh, a critical fight in, uh, in Iraq. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, I, it's, it's starting to, I guess, realize it's, it's, a, it's original dream. So um, I think it's a testament to where the airplanes are now going um, to the, uh, and in combination, the, the hard work and innovation to, um, uh, the, the hard work and innovation from Aero Vota Cody and the Czech Ministry uh, of Defense to, to realize these type of things in very challenging uh, environments. So it's, um, it's historic, it really is, and we're all proud to be part of it. So thank you very much.